Are going to be doing a molly flower square and not just a molly flower four molly flowers um, to create this uh, cool sort of look um, in a granny square so to start you're going to need it, it just is gonna depend entirely on the, the your color choice so I just chose a dark solid black for the background and I wanted the variegated um, petals to really pop so um, this is just DK yarn uh, in wool that I used but you can use whatever color combination you want to use and um, so and I also used white for the center so you can decide as well whatever color you want for the center and what you're going to do, or what we're going to do, is learn how to make the, the square first. And that square um, is basically one that just doesn't have any um, sort of gaps in it. It's just a, a really solid square. And I'm going to show you in a different color. We'll, we'll use a different color just because it's going to be easier for you to see. So I'm just gonna use um, a mini skein from my shop. This is the um, Astro Pop yarn from uh, the Pride Advent calendars that I have. And th those come with 15 um, colors, uh, various schemes uh, to celebrate Pride Month. And then you also get 15 uh, medieval queer facts, which is also a way to learn as well. Um, and a portion of the sales also goes to um, a charity to help support our LGBTQ plus siblings. All right, so we're going to just start with the square first. Um, I'll get you through that. And then we will move on to the Molly flowers and learn how to make those and then we will jump over into how to put it all together so just before we begin make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and hopefully I'll be getting more content out for you soon well I will but um yeah every sort of like and subscribe helps so thanks for that and if you don't want to, then you don't have to do anything. Um, I hope you uh, get something out of the tutorial. So let's get started. To start, um, you can also use whatever hook um, is available with whatever yarn you're using, if you're not using this one. Uh, this is just merino and nylon, so it has a little bit of stretch to it, which is good. And uh, I'm using a three and a half millimeter hook. Ooh, can you see that? It's quite bright there, just like that. So first we're going to start with um, a slip knot, just like that. And we are going to chain four. So we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. And we're actually going to do another one just to make sure that you can see it and that it's in case you're using thicker yarn. So that's chain five then. <laughs> and then you're going to slip stitch into the first chain from your hook. And then you're going to chain four, two, three, four. And then you're going to go into the center of your little circle that you've made make sure that you're not going into the loop here and the stitch you want to go into the center so 
and you're going to do um, three double crochets. One, two, three. And then you're going to do a triple crochet or treble crochet. So yarn over twice and then go back into that hole. Yarn over and pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And then you're going to do uh, three double crochets again. One, two, three. And then you're going to do a treble crochet again. And then three more double crochets. Just like that. Then another treble crochet. And then three more double crochets into that hole. So after you've done your three double crochets, you're going to go into the top of the um, chain four that you did previously, or the, the first one, and just do a slip stitch, just like that. So it doesn't look like a square yet, but it will soon. So we are already into uh, round two. So you're going to chain four. And then into this same uh, stitch that you're, you did your chain four, you're going to do two double crochets. And then into the next three stitches, you're going to do um, a double crochet in each stitch. So one, two, three. And then that brings you to the next corner. So you're going to do two double crochets. And then a treble into that same stitch, and then two more double crochets. That's your corner. Okay, now into the next three stitches, you're doing a double crochet in each stitch. Okay, now we're into the next corner, so that's two double crochets into that stitch, a treble crochet, and then two more double crochets. That's that corner done. Into the next three stitches you do a double crochet in each stitch just like that and then we are at another corner so you will do uh, two double crochets a treble oops and two more double crochets into that same stitch and then finally you do uh, into the next three st stitches a double crochet into each stitch that brings you to this corner here and you'll need in 
this last one uh, that has the chain four here, you would do two more double crochets just to complete that corner. And that is row number two, around number two, almost done. So just uh, do a slip stitch into the top of that chain four that you did. And there's your little mini square. Okay, so for round three, we're going to chain four again, three, four. And then to that same stitch, you do two double crochets. And then into the next seven stitches across, you do a double crochet in each stitch. Okay, just like that. Then you're going to into the next stitch. That's your corner. So you're going to do two double crochets, a treble, and two more double crochets. So that's your corner stitch. Then into the next seven, you're doing a uh, double crochet, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that brings you to the next corner. So you'll do two double crochets. a treble, and then two more double crochets. And then into the next seven stitches, you do a double crochet in each stitch, get to the corner, and then it's two double crochets, treble, two double crochets, and then I will meet you back when you are at the end here again. Okay, so now that we have finished round three, um, we've got to the end here. We have to do two stitches, remember, so two double crochets into that final corner, just to even it out. And then you do a slip stitch into the top of your chain four like that. So for round four, we're doing the same thing. So you chain four into that same space. You do two more double crochets. And then into the next 11 stitches across, you do a double crochet in each of those 11 stitches. And you might have to pull here, just make sure that you're, you can see um, your, that little stitch that might be hiding. So one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then into the uh, next stitch you do your corner so that is two double crochets a treble and then two double crochets and so you just continue that all the way around 
So the next um, step is to do a double crochet into all 11 of these stitches and then get to your corner. So I'll meet you back when you have completed row number, round number four. Okay, so we have finished round number four. Um, I just did the final two double crochets in this last stitch, and then I'm just going to slip stitch to the top of the chain four. And then we are going to do round number five. So that is a, a chain four, two double crochets into the same stitch. And then into the next 15 stitches across, you're going to do a double crochet in each stitch. And then do your corner, 15, corner, 15, corner. So do that all the way. Make sure that you pull and you're getting your that little hidden stitch at the top. And uh, I'll meet you when you are done this round. Okay, so we have finished round number five. And I just did the last two double crochets. So last step is to slip stitch into the top of the chain four. And then depending on the size of the yarn you're using and your uh, hook size, um, you might have a large enough square for whatever your project is. But because this is um, a little bit thinner yarn, it's merino fingering sock. I'm just going to show you uh, to how to do a couple more rows or rounds. So we're going to do round six. So we're going to chain four, double crochet into the same stitch um, twice. And then across the next 19 stitches, you're going to do a double crochet in each stitch. And so that is the um, pattern for this round. That's round six. So 19 double crochets, corner, the 19 corner, and just continue that way. And then I will meet you when you're done this round. Okay, so we've made it. So we've done one, two, three, four, five, six rounds. And so I'm just going to slip stitch into that, uh, the top of that chain four. And that is uh, basically all you need. And so this type of method gives you a tighter um, square so that you don't have huge, or not huge, but you don't have the gaps in the corners. So um, you can do that. You know, if you have black yarn and you'll, you, you won't see the, 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 the large lines um, that kind of separate, wh which is fine. Those are, are beautiful squares as well, but this one just gives you the tighter look. Um, so that is the end of that. Uh, all you do is um, cut your yarn and uh, pull it through the the hole there or the loop and that is it okay so now that we have our square done we are going to move on to the molly flowers you're going to make four of these for one square and i am just using the same size uh, hook that i used for my square um, so it's a three and a half millimeter hook but you can use whatever size corresponds with the yarn you're using. And I'm just, for the, the colorful petals, I'm using the DK yarn. Um, and for the center, just some acrylic. So if you can see that, it just has the little center and that will be in white. So if you want two different colors for your, your flowers, then that's what you'll need. So let's get right to it. So to start, let's just get right into it. 
Um, the easiest thing to do is to uh, do a little slip knot just like that with your center yarn and um, again I'm just using a three and a half millimeter hook if you can see that uh, and then you just chain four so one two three four and then you're going to go back into the first um, chain that you made and pull your yarn through and then pull it through again you're just doing a slip stitch and that creates a little circle just like that and you can also do this with a magic ring if if that suits you as well okay so we've done that we made our little um circle and now we're going to chain one and that doesn't count for anything it's just sort of to bump up the the next sort of level of, of your your round so into the center of try and pull that yarn and make sure that you're not going into an actual chain that you're just going right into the center and you're going to do six single crochets so one two and I usually kind of go around the um, yarn that is kind of hanging there just to cover it up three four five six so before we um, usually some people uh, going to do a slip stitch into the first um, single crochet that we're, we've done but we're actually we're going to pretend we're going to slip stitch but we're going to add our new yarn so you just take your new color or your second color and you do another slip knot just like that and you're going to pull that through instead of your um, the current yarn. So you're going to pull that through and then pull it through the chain on your hook. And so that gives you your slip stitch just like that. So you will have six um, single crochets. So now we are going to start the petals. So you'll drop this color here and you can work work it in if you want or just sort of cut cut this and leave a tail because um, you're done with the, the white. But we're going to chain three just like that to start. And so we're, we have one, two, three, four, five, six single crochets. So into this first one, you're going to do, you're going to pretend you're doing a double crochet. So you yarn over, go into that single crochet and pull up a loop. And you're going to pull it up really, really high. And then you're going to yarn over again. And go back into that. And pull up a loop just like that so that's two and you're gonna do that four more times so one two three four so it's a total of six times you do that and then you yarn over and then pull pull your that yarn through all of those loops on your hook and then do a single crochet just to lock it into place and then you're going to chain two and you're going to drop down to the 
um, next single crochet and do a slip stitch just like that and then just tuck the chain behind and that gives you the your your yarn is going to pop that way so let's do that again i'm going to chain three just like that and then yarn over and go into that single crochet and pull up a loop and you do that six times so one two three four five six and then you're going to yarn over pull through all of those loops then single crochet just to lock it into place and chain two and then drop down and into the next stitch you do a slip stitch and then just make that pop just like that so you can continue that all the way around till you have six of these um it's just that easy okay so i have done six petals around here and i have my chain two and i'm just going to drop down and slip stitch into that last um into the actually the first i guess um stitch that i did and then i'm going to cut the yarn and pull it through that final stitch there and then what you do is you take these chains that are at the top and you just sort of pull them back like that yeah so basically that is it just to get the petals themselves to pop and that is your little molly flower that you can use and then attach them so now that we have everything um made and you even have your little square here i'm going to switch i'm going to go back to my black one just to show you how it uh, will work up um, like this so you're going to need a needle and thread as well so you're going to need about a meter how about that that's probably easier um for you so yeah a meter so you're gonna have four of these molly flowers made so make sure that you have four of these made just like that and the next step is to take your needle and thread and you're gonna go into you see where you have your chains in the back of your flower you're going to go into one of those and pull your yarn through but not all the way through so just leave a little um so i'm gonna move these out of the way leave a little tail and you can go through so underneath again and through just so that you kind of secure it like that okay and you'll be able to weave in or cut or even just hide these tails so don't worry too much about those yet so take your next molly flower and you're going to align two of the petals just like that and so where you have gone through um with your yarn your thread here you're gonna go and connect to where you've aligned the two petals and go through that one uh go through the chains at the back 
and then kind of catch you know there's so many colors and strings here if you can see you're gonna kind of just very ever so slightly catch the back of that petal and then go through the next chain just like that and then connect that one to the next chain from your original flower so pull that through so you're just kind of weaving it in and out so then go into the next chain here and the next chain on your second molly flower and pull your yarn through and then come back but kind of catch a little bit of the back don't go all the way through don't go into the, the front you don't want that so but just catch a little bit and then go through your chain here um, in your first flower and so that one is kind of if you can see that it's a little it's kind of secure so you can keep going back if you want to make sure that it's just ironclad um, so then once you've you've connected those two petals you have these two petals here and you're going to take your third um, flower and just line up so you've got these two petals if you, can, you can see that these two petals are lined up with these two petals and then you're going to line up these two just like that okay so that will line up like that and it will line up with the first one like that so what you're going to do is go through the chains in the back as you've been doing and just weave them back and forth and catch a little bit of the the petal just to secure everything in place and then just keep going like that and with this one what you're going to do is you're going to work your way back so it's it's going to be super secure but also it's so that you can kind of meet back at the at the center of your connecting flowers and once you've done that make your way to the center then you're you're going to line up these two so you're basically making like a Zelda triangle um, so just work your way into the next chains and turn turn your work as you need to and then just keep going that way and make sure that it's nice and secure and once you're happy with that and you've lined up the next these two petals here to create your triforce your molly triforce um, then you take your fourth flower and you line that up just like that so your your molly flowers are kind of um, at a an angle they're slanted 
And so you just go and continue that way. So I'm just lining up these petals. Just like that. And I will work my way to the right first. And then I'm going to let the song slide to the left. So just continue until you've got all four flowers secured by linking the chains behind the flower. And that way too, that will help the, the the petals really pop and then once you have that secure now you can either take these um, sort of hanging threads and either just tie them in knots and then kind of cut cut those because they will be in the back anyways um, of your project. Then you take your square and you can line that up just like that. Go into the back where your yarn is connected and just very, very kind of shallowly. You don't want to go see where I'm sewing through you don't want to go all the way through the back like that because then you'll have like a, a less clean stitch I mean you can if you're gonna put a back to back like that but if you're just going to if you want just do a shallow kind of um, dip into your your square like that and then come back into your flower or flowers and you're going to basically just align that and sew it around sew your flowers around very very carefully attaching them to your square and you'll your the back of your square will be clean and so just continue to do that all the way around um, I don't think you need any more instructions for that it's pretty straightforward make sure that you're going through the chains um, and not your your actual petals so make sure you're going through the, the chains in the back of your molly flowers and then shallowly through your square and that's it so i will leave you to that and then i'll meet you at the very end if it helps for you to do if you think that it's going your project is going to be crooked you can um, pin it down um, use some bobby pins and pin it down to make it easier for you to sew these in without it twisting and then your project won't be aligned and then you'll be mad at me and we don't want that. So, um, yeah, so just continue and I'll meet you when you're done. Okay, so when you are pretty much done your um, attaching your molly flowers, just take your yarn and shallowly stick it underneath all of those flowers let it catch but don't let it show through on the back and then let it come out the other side of your molly's 
flowers underneath and that's going to help secure it a little bit you can knot your yarn just kind of like that to make sure that it's in place and then you cut that yarn and I'll probably cut it a little bit more just to make sure it's clean and then voila that's it you are done you have finished um, your molly square flower molly squares and then you can attach them together and make beautiful projects um, this is a great project too because you basically kind of double layered it so it's great for bags um, so we'll continue and do a bag with this in another episode but and I'll just show you how to align the squares it'll be a quick one but uh, so you can have this um, to go and create beautiful things so uh, that's it we'll see you next time uh, take care everybody bye bye